Hi everyone, so quick video here. Um, this is just about some extremely useful debug commands on the FortiGate firewall. Um, basically, these two commands are where I normally start with my troubleshooting process um, or the mentoring that I've done for lots of engineers coming through, you know, starting the career, the support teams. Um, these two commands are extremely valuable. Um, so just thought I'd show you uh, what these two commands are, what the use cases are for them, and why they're extremely useful. So when you're thinking about a troubleshooting process, um, I always say to engineers, know your source and know your destination. So let's say you're trying to get a packet from uh, a machine to... Uh, a unified cloud key, which is uh, on um, off a forty switch, um, so you would need a firewall policy traditionally um, to allow the communication between two separate interfaces. So that's what I'm going to show you uh, here. So the first command is diagnose sniffer packet. Um, the next line here, where it says internal, um, this is the interface. So you can usually actually. Um, I just put any here um, and then I'm really granular on the filters. So um, inside the speech marks, this is where you, you define the filters that you want. Um, I'll drop a link in the description about all the various different filters that you can apply. Um, so 10.90.90.18 is a unified cloud key, um, which lives on my internal network. And 10.80.80.47 is the IP address that I'm recording this video from. Um, four is a, a flag that you can add that simply maps out the uh, interface names. So if I start that flow, that uh, capture, I should say, wait for it to go through. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to demonstrate um, how to... Um, so the issue that I've got here is I've got um, a, a client on my internal network and I've got a client on uh, a 40 switch um, and I cannot get connectivity between them. I cannot simply get ICMP. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and ping it from this host. And as you can see, I've got one-way communication. So you can see that the packet hits the internal interface from 10.88.87. And it's destined for 10.90.90.18. So that's correct. Site the MP. But the traffic is in this direction here. And you, as you can see, you see no response. And the ping itself um, doesn't return any output. So what I'm going to do now is I've actually broken this on purpose. So I'm now going to stop this and stop this. I'm going to minimize this. And I'm going to allow the communication between the two devices. Going to open, start this, the packet sniffer again. Give it a minute until you get the prompt below. And start the ping. And as you can see, I've stopped the debug. But same as before, the communication is initiated from my PC to the cloud key. There's the request. And as you can see, now that I've enabled the firewall rule, the, the cloud key is allowed to respond. So that's the first command. It's diagnose sniffer packet, then followed by the interface. I generally just put any here, open speech marks, and then there's lots of filters that you can do. So you can filter by host, source, destination, subnets. There's lots that you can do, and I've, I'll, I'll um, include the, the filters that you are able to apply in the comments below. So the next commands, and this is a subset, there's a few commands that you need to enter in here, is diagnose debug flow. Uh, you enable it, you diagnose debug flow filter, and then I'm done a source address, 
and then the destination address, so the source address is the same, it's the PC that I'm recording the video on. The destination address is the same, it's a cloud key. Um, I don't need 100, so we'll just do 10 of those. And this command is extremely useful for trying to find out the life of a packet. So what happens to the packet is not applied, is the security profile applied? What firewall policy does it hit? These subset of commands are gonna tell you all that information. So I'm gonna enter that here. I've disabled the firewall rule again. So I'm gonna do ping 10, 90.18 minus T. I'm gonna stop that. And as you can see, let's have a look at what we've got here. So it sees the packet. A new session is allocated to it. It's found the route. Um, but the most important thing here, and this is definitely worth noting down, is that it's denied via a forward policy check. It hits policy ID zero, which simply means it does not have a policy created for it. And the reason for that is I've disabled both of the rules again on the firewall. So what I'm going to do is going to enable that. I don't really need to enable the second one, but we shall anyway. And we will keep the command going. So get rid of that one. And we'll just pop the commands back in again just to be sure that. And now we will start the ping between them. And you can see it's gone through. And this time, if you look last time, it same exact same again. New session uh, is allocated, but it's actually been out allowed by policy five, which is uh, which policy is that? This policy here. So to summarise. This is an extremely useful command. Um, it's used by lots of engineers. Uh, I see, you know, uh, lots of senior engineers advising people to use these commands on Reddit and various Discord communities that I'm part of. Um, I, it, if I've got an issue with trying to get a packet to a certain destination. Um, I'm struggling with it or it's hitting a wrong policy or I'm trying to figure out what NAT supplied or what, what security policies are hitting it and what, what, what they're doing with it. Um, these are the commands that I am using. So for the post them up, hope you enjoyed the short video um, and we shall see you in the next video.